Greetings. We, are the Guardian. Welcome to Night Vision. It's actually a simple question, have you opened Pandora's box? The question is simple, the answer may be a bit more complicated. First, who is Pandora? She is the Greek mythological female that let her curiosity get the better of her. She unwisely opened a box, that unleashed a multitude of curses upon an unsuspecting world. It is a fable that warns us to avoid unwise assumptions, that likely could lead to disastrous conclusions. So obviously, opening Pandora's box, is a reminder to think before you act. Put thought into every decision and every action. The more important the decision, the more you need to process a deeper level of contemplation. Choosing between white or wheat bread, no big deal. Deciding where you are going to spend eternity, big deal, very big deal. So on that topic, the analogy to Pandora's box, would be the issue of origins. The ancient writings declare that God has chosen to initially reveal himself, through creation. The revelation is blatant, and undeniable. So rejecting that revelation, is paramount to opening Pandora's box. If creation is the revelation that opens the door to reality, then rejecting the clear witness of creation, closes the door to further revelation. So why do so many people, choose to reject the witness of creation? Most often it is an issue of indoctrination. The atheists of the government-mandated and government-controlled public school system, have been systematically force-feeding our children with the atheistic worldview of naturalism, since 1925. Naturalism is the atheistic worldview that everything is natural. In other words, God is neither given a voice, or a place at their table. This is most apparent when it comes to the issue of origins. Origins is simply the study of beginnings. The origin of the universe, the origin of life on earth, and the origin of humanity, Homo sapiens sapiens. The atheists insist that number one, the universe created itself, from a singularity, generated by the multiverse. They insist that life on earth created itself, from non-living chemicals. They insist that humanity created itself, by evolving from bacteria. But they literally don't have a single shred of evidence, to back up their atheistic worldview of naturalism. Nothing. Nada. Zilch. I looked into their evidence account, and it's bankrupt to the bone. All they have is their atheistic propaganda of naturalism. No evidence, just propaganda. When asked about the inception of their lack of belief in creation, most people point to the government's atheistic public school curriculum. In their mind, science has explained away the existence of God. Imagine how shocked they are to find out that science has accomplished no such feat. Their so-called evidence, turns out to be nothing more than a vacuous shell game of atheistic smoke and mirrors. You were fed a plate full of putrid garbage, but they told you that it was a gourmet meal. Yum yum. It's time to vomit out the atheistic worldview of naturalism, and embrace the reality of creation. So what is that reality? 14 billion years ago, God created the spiritual universe of heaven, and the physical universe of earth. It was at that same time that he created the constant of the speed of light, when he said, let there be light. He had created the quarks, fermions, and bosons, but had not yet set them in motion with the speed of light. He had established the four fundamental forces of our physical universe, the force of gravity, electromagnetism, and the strong and weak interactions. But our physical universe was still formless and void, until he established the universal speed of light. That was the consummation of the Big Bang. He formed our particular section of the universe, in one of the outer spiral arms of the Milky Way, about 4.5 billion years ago. He then began creating life on our little planet, about 3.5 billion years ago. Each of the six literal days of creation were about a billion years apart, give or take a hundred million years or so. Six literal days of creation, with billions of years in between. It's science and scripture, beautifully melded together, to reflect the reality of creation. Peace be unto you and your house. Maybe you have never heard of scientific creationism. 
It blends the reality of nature, with the reality of creation. Contrary to popular misunderstandings, there is no conflict between science and faith. The Book of Genesis, and the Book of Nature, coincide perfectly. Since the worldview of naturalism is void of evidence, and is therefore untenable, there is absolutely no valid reason to reject God's offer of salvation. That is, unless you simply just don't want to believe. That is your prerogative. Just know that you are not a biological mutant, floating around in a cosmological accident. You are a child of the Most High God. Accept God's generous offer of redemption, through faith in Jesus Christ, and the Creator, will fulfill your destiny.